In the previous video, I mentioned getting some inaccurate readings from the PowerX charger, whereas the readings from the Liso Carla were what I expected. And I only got one comment on that video, and it was about my comment on the inaccuracy. So I'll just go through what I went through before. Um, I haven't got a background with electronics or electricity. My tertiary education was in mechanical and production engineering and electronics to me is like magic and sorcery. So if you can put me straight or if you can educate me, please do so in the comments. But I'll, I'll just show you why I said the things I did in the previous video. So when analyzing battery capacity, I understand you can't do it if there's already some charge in the battery. All you can do is you, you can completely discharge a battery and then charge it and the, the charger will tell you how much power it put into the battery. Or you can have a completely full battery and then you can discharge it and the charger will tell you how much power was taken out. So when I, when I got these batteries they all had some charge in already and they're rated at 2450 milliamp hours. So the first thing I did was to discharge all of them to get them down to zero. And then I charged them using both chargers. Now, with the Litho Carla, if we, if we uh, go through the slots, this is slot one. So the batteries are rated at 2450, and I got 2451, which was spot on, it's exactly what I expected. Slot two, 2413, it's a, a bit low, but that's still in line with expectations. Slot three, lower still, 23.32, but okay. And slot four, 23.43. So they were the, the kind of readings that I was expecting. Now with the Power X, we have to wait until the, um, the charger cycles through the various slots. Okay, so it's on, it's on slot four now, and it's 32.40 which is way above 24.50. Slot one, 37.73. Slot two, 35.77. And slot three, 35.46. So considering that the batteries are rated at um, 2450, those readings are just ridiculously high. So that's why I discounted the readings on the, on the PowerX and I used the readings on the Lito Carla. And I've been reading up today and um, it just underlines how little I know about um, electronics. But it seems the, the, the favored way of measuring the battery capacity is to charge the batteries first and then to discharge them and see how much power the, the charger takes out of the battery. And I guess that's because when you, when you do it that way, you can control the load a lot better. But when I, when I did that, uh, the results were still high using the PowerX. On the PowerX, when I, when I char fully charged them first and then discharged them, I got readings of 2658, 2528, 2616, and 2599. So they're all a lot higher than the 2450 that I, ex that I expected. And with the Liso Carla, when I did exactly the same thing, I uh, fully charged them first, and then went through a discharge cycle, I got 2332, 2548, 2365, and 2377. So again, those readings were much more in line with what I expected, closer to 2450. And the, the um, consistency seems to be that the, the PowerX gives higher readings than I, I would have expected. Let me know what you think. And let me know if, if it was a, a stupid thing to do to discharge the batteries first and then to charge them in here. Is, is that why I got an exceptionally high reading? 
And if that was the case, why, why didn't it happen with the Lito Carla? When I did exactly the same thing, I got the reading that I expected. I'm just um, a bit confused. As I said earlier, I'm, I'm not very um, au fait with electronics and electricity. And if I'm making some mistakes, I'll be very happy to hear about them in the comments below.